Am I the worst day trader on YouTube? Stick around. Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and this video is going to be a recap of all the trades that I've not covered yet on the Small Account Day Trading Challenge. If you're new to the channel and you want to follow the Small Account Day Trading Challenge, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell, and come join us in the live streams. I'm live streaming five days a week right now. Now I'll answer the question whether I'm the worst day trader on YouTube or not a little bit later in this video, but we're going to go through days 8 through day 13 of the small account day trading challenge to get caught up and from here on out I'll be releasing the small account challenge videos the same day or the next day of the trade. So let's dive in to day 8. So right now RDHL is where a lot of the volume is they had FDA approval for a stomach infection drug and this guy gapped up from seven something all the way almost to ten dollars and it's right around 850 now I'm gonna go ahead and get in this guys just because nothing else is really going on that I like see what I get filled at 806 and I think we'll get the bounce off of eight dollars this is FDA approval so this is a really good press release eight dollars held up the support in pre-market twice and then it's not been that low again so so yeah if we just keep on slowly climbing like this we'll be good to go starting to come down here though oh and it cracked eight dollars wow did not really expect that but i've only got 100 shares so right now i'm only down 20 dollars so i'm not gonna jump out of this yet i could have i might have jumped the gun on this play I just thought eight dollars was gonna hold up. Uh, whoa, all the way down to 775. That's not good. All right, I think we're back. Maybe. Yeah, we're back. So day eight was the fourth loss in a row. It was a $64 loss. I ended up holding RDHL and swinging it into the morning, but nothing ever happened and it started cracking, so I got out of it. Now day nine, there's no reason to show any footage. I didn't make any trades. It was a holiday. There was not a lot of volume in the market, so there's nothing to show there. So on to day 10. Oh, let's see. BNGO's made a U-shape here. Up to the VWAP. It didn't break, though. But we do have some potential here. It looks like it's breaking there. I'm gonna go. I see a big buyer at 135. Oh, I got in a little bit, a little bit late on that. Where am I at? 138. I got in a little bit later than I would have liked. A lot of selling at 140. 140 is gonna be tough. One, if 140 breaks, this is going to make a decent move. It probably popped a 150. Because there's a lot of selling at 140. Big buyer at 137. I got taken out. Big buyer at 135. I'm not willing to give this too much. As long as we're above the VWAP, then I'm going to hold. But if it starts cracking the VWAP again, I got to get out. I can't take any big losses. This needs to come up. This needs to break 140 soon. This is fighting with 140 hard. Let's see. We need the bids up to 140. Come on, take these 140s out. There we go. There we go. Got through that 140. Oh, coming back down a little bit here. Our next resistance is going to be 150. Oh, I know why 140 was. <laughs> right there is why 140 was tough. Right there, the market op the market open was 140, so we're above the market open now. Need to stay above that. See if this can move up to 150, maybe get a 150 break. See these bids keep moving up close to that 150. Big sellers at 145. Let's see if they get taken out. There we go. All right, let's get up to 150, and I'm probably going to lock out just to be safe. And give it a little bit longer here to get to 150. Okay, we're right up to 150. A lot of selling at 150. Expected that. Oh, a lot of buying volume just came in. 150, I think, is about to break here. 
all the 150 sellers are getting taken out. And I'm going to go ahead and lock out, guys. I'm going to lock in this profit because I've been losing too much. There we go. All right. I'm not getting in a two-hour hold on this thing in case 150 doesn't break. Stick to the strategy. We got the U-shape. We waited. Got the U-shape under the VWAP. Break of the VWAP. That confirmation. We get in. And we sell when we've got profit. 150 was resistance. All right. Everybody made some money on this play, it looks like. One Life got some money. Marcus got some money. So at day 10, I broke the losing streak and got a $42 win on BNGO. So day 11, I did not make a trade. Uh, we nailed APD in before it went on its big run and several people in the chat made some money on it. So if you want to come join the live streams, you're welcome to. Ask questions, whatever you want to do. There's a lot of good information in those live streams. Be sure to check them out. So let's dive into day 12. TRPX. Oh, it just came out with a press release. Positive phase two. Let's see, it's got resistance at 240, 230, $3. So a lot of resistance ahead of this. But we need to add this to the watch list right now. Sometimes you get these late press releases and they can be really profitable. So now we're now we have a tug of war because volume is going to be on this play too. So we're going to have a tug of war between SYS and TRPX. And this is kind of a bull flag. I'm kind of feeling this flag that we've got going on here. So I might go. Let's see. It's nine is at 203. We're like right above it. Mm, I'm tempted to go in this bull flag. Let's see if it breaks above this bull flag. Let's do have room to run to 240. And we're going. I'm going. Go, I'm going to go right here because we're getting above the bull flag. Let's see, I got filled at 213. Okay, so let's see if this thing starts moving. Ooh, drop down a little bit here. Need it to hold up above. The VWAP's down there around two dollars. So it didn't pop out of this flag like I wanted. But as long as VWAP holds up, I'll probably hold this. Big drop here. Oof. Try to give us a second to see if this VWAP is going to hold up. We could U shape around here. I'm trying to give us a chance. If we get a nice little U shape here, this this would be good. See, NSY is still not doing much. Nothing else really doing too much right now. So it's riding right along this VWAP right now. We really need to see it get off of this VWAP. Big seller at 198. That's a little nerve wracking. Just trying to give it a chance. I don't want to. I don't want to jump out early, but I also don't want to take a big loss on this. It's starting to crack pretty hard, though. Mmm. Mmm. Big, big crack. Oh, crack 175. Man. Oh man. I'm getting killed right now. Ooh, this is not good. That 175 should hold up, so I don't want to. I don't want to sell into this panic here. I did jump too early. I mean, this is a nice, perfect little bull flag, though. Like, this pattern is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bull flag, but it just didn't break. Mm, yeah, it looks like we're going to drop here, so I'm going to go ahead and get out. All right, there I'm out. Trying to see if it's going to get back up that 175, but it started dropping there. So 128, nice loss on this. So that's going to, whoo, yeah, that's going to put me down. So day 12 was the biggest loss yet on the small account challenge, $128. I didn't stick to my strategy and I held the bag for way too long. This was so stupid and it could have been prevented. Now to answer the question, am I the worst day trader on YouTube? Probably so after this last two weeks of trading. Go ahead and hit that like button if you think I'm the worst. If you know somebody who you think is worse than me, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Now, I'm going to turn this small account challenge around and get it back on track. So before we get into day 13, the Thursday right after the $128 loss, I had a little bit of funds left. I tried to make a trade. It was I didn't stream that day uh, and didn't record it, but I tried to make a small trade just to make a little bit back. Ended up taking a $15 loss on FCEL. Uh, you'll see that in the orders. 
And then Friday, I wasn't planning on streaming or trading, but I woke up and saw that market conditions were actually pretty good for a Friday. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. And I found a play that actually fit my strategy, and I'll show you the footage of that. But I didn't lock in my profits when I had them, and I ended up only making four cents on the trade. So nothing big there. And it it's just starting to build up the VWAP. Then I may have to go here if this breaks. And I'm going to go. And go on this VWAP break here. Oh man, I might have got filled up too high. Oh, I did. I got filled up way too high. 310. If this breaks the VWAP, I'm getting out immediately. It's kind of all over the place here. This is a perfect U shape under the VWAP here. So I didn't do anything crazy. Big buy at 315. It's got a little volume coming in. But. If we can really see this start moving and break through 325. There we go. Let's break through that. Okay, let's see how far we can go with this. 330. I could lock in to be a very small profit. Like I said, this has a lot of potential. It has room at least up to 423 if it can really get going. So because I don't have that many shares and I'm in a little higher than I'm like, I'm I want to give this a chance. To try to try to go on a run. Like I said, 339 is going to be tough. And 350 will be tough. If this thing's going to start moving soon, though, then it's probably not going to do much more than this. And it's not looking good there. To the VWAP. VWAP's right at my entry. And I may be hopping out here. Starting to get a lot of selling, and I'm not going to hold this much longer if we don't start moving back up. Oh, no, I'm going to get out. I'm starting to crack. Yeah, okay. So I made four cents. Yep, called that, called that crack. I knew that was coming. So I made four cents today. <laughs> if I'd have locked in back here where the smart area would have been, it would have been like $40, like $40 probably, but. That's okay, I want to give it a chance and see if I could get a much better run on this. So day 13, I ended up not making a trade. Uh, there was not a lot of volume in the penny stock world. The mid cap stocks were kind of running again. So it was out of my price range to hop in the stock that was taken off that day. I just decided not to trade at all. So now let's get into all the orders. So that's it for this video recap. If you know a day trader who's struggling or you know somebody who's thinking about getting into day trading, go ahead and share this video with them and send them to the channel. Tell them to join the live streams and ask questions. That's what we're here for. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'm your host, Ben, and you've been watching Framework Fortune.